Go ahead and do this one on your own. We're not doing groups this time. I want you to do it on your own. You did 37 equals 30 and 5 plus 2. Remember, she likes to do numbers that work for her. Okay? Is following what she is saying and what I've done here on the board because yeah. remember I want you to understand that it's really we're putting them in parentheses and then we can add them all when we're done so she had 2 times 3 equals 6 5 times 3 equals 15 and 3 times 30 equals 90 and then what is she going to do with all these add them all up together so 90 15 and 6 I'm gonna do 90 15 and 6 and we got Raise your hand if you got an answer of 111. Okay, Bella, why don't you tell us what you did? 7 times 3, which is? And what do I put here? And what do you want me to do with the 2? And what do we call that? Regroup it above the 3, okay? 3 times 3? Add the 2, so 3 times 3 is? Plus 2 is? And what, I put one here. Where do I put the other one? Next, how come you made me regroup this one but not that one? Okay, think about why do I regroup this time, but when I came to 11 here, I didn't regroup the one. I want you to talk to your group and talk about why I didn't regroup. Why do we just put it there? Good. Does anybody have any ideas why we don't regroup it? Harry, why do you think we don't regroup it? There's no hundreds up here on the multiplication problem. I want you guys to consider this. If I had put a if if I put a zero there, is it still the same numbers that I'm multiplying? Yes. No. The zero doesn't change the value of the 37, does it? No. So let's say, for argument's sake, that when Bella did three times three, she got nine plus two is eleven, right? Let's go ahead and regroup that one. So far, so good? Yeah. What is 3 times 0? Zero? Zero. Plus 1? One. One. Oh, Still works out, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's basically the same thing, only we, we're not multiplying that last hundreds because there's nothing there. Okay? So let me give you another one. There you go. Talk with your group. Okay. And you put the one here. Did you put the two somewhere else? So we re did what with it? We group it on the six. So what do I put down here? We do what with it? We regroup it. And I put the 7 here. Do I need to regroup the 1? No, because ultimately it's just going to come back down as a 1, isn't it? How many of you got 1701? <coughs> All right, there you go. We will do group. Okay, Kara, go ahead. Shh, hold on a second. 5 times 3? 15. 5 times 3? 15. What am I going to do with the bottom and 1 on top of the 8? We do what with it? Or uh huh. Regroup it, okay. Twenty-four plus. Okay, and I put one here. And I do what with the two? Regroup it on the two. Two times three is plus. Okay, am I regrouping anything? Nope. Nope. Nothing to regroup, and then. <coughs> 3 times 3 is 9. nine. How many of you got 9,855? 